Making butter at home can be a really easy way to start making your own homemade dairy. And the method I'm going to show you today is the way to start if you don't want to buy any special ingredients or equipment. Making butter is such an easy thing to do. And if you just have a mason jar or some sort of container at home, it's really easy to start with. Get yourself some heavy whipping cream and fill your container only halfway fill with the cream. That's really important. And then set your cream out on the counter for about 30 minutes or as long as it takes for it to come to about 62 to 64 degrees. Now that's gonna make your butter making go really, really quickly. Now, I really believe that it's super important to get people involved in making their own food, especially children. That way you can have a full appreciation of the work and the effort that goes into making homemade food. So make sure you grab your children and get them involved in this really easy project. Once your cream is at that 64 degree mark, then all you're gonna do is make sure your lid is nice and tight and then start shaking. Now we have whipped cream. It's not ready yet. Put the lid on and keep shaking. It's getting even thicker and a little bit grainy, but it's not ready yet. Keep shaking. It is really thick right now. It almost looks like a whipped butter, but it's not butter yet. You still have to keep shaking until it separates from the buttermilk. You're gonna get hard lumps and really liquidy, milky looking stuff off to the side. <laughs> All right, the butter just broke. You can see that there's solid butter and then that there's the white buttermilk at the bottom. Now you can stop shaking. That only took about 15 minutes of shaking. It's a good arm workout, but if you can pass it around to the kids, it's great for everyone. All right, but now we need to take the next step, which is to wash our butter and then to salt it so it's really tasty. Pour off your buttermilk for either drinking or for baking with, and then put your butter into a bowl. Now we're gonna run cool water through the butter until it runs all the way clear, rinsing it with your fingers. Make sure it's not hot water, otherwise you'll melt your butter. You have to do this step to remove all the buttermilk from your butter, otherwise your butter will go bad really quickly, as in, in just about overnight. Okay, once your water is staying clear, then you are ready to move on. All right, now we want to get the extra liquid out of the butter. So we're just gonna work it a little bit with a spatula, just move it around. And you can see that liquid is pooling at the bottom and that is just great. You're just gonna pour that off. All right, if you want salted butter, then we need to go ahead and take that next step and salt it. But if you're wanting unsalted butter, you've got it right now and it is ready to go. You can bake with this, you can put this on your bread. If you wanna keep it, you can go ahead and wrap it up in a little plastic wrap and keep it in your refrigerator. Now, when we're salting butter, we wanna go ahead and do it at the rate of a quarter teaspoon of salt per quart of cream that we start with. Now, this was only a half quart of cream, so this is only about an eighth teaspoon that I'm putting in right now, um, or just about a pinch. 
and you can go ahead and just mix this up really, really well. Now, when you salt your butter, it's gonna help pull out a little bit more liquid. So if you salt it, go ahead and let it sit for just a few minutes and then work it around again and get that excess liquid out. That's just gonna help pull it out of the butter and then it will be ready to use to bake with or to go ahead and store in your refrigerator. You guys, this is so amazing. You're gonna be blown away at how great homemade butter tastes compared to the store-bought butter. It is amazing, it's delicious, and hey, if you wanna learn how to do this with your own cream, check out this video on skimming your cream off of your milk.